covering all of the exciting action from your community. Here's News 8 Now Sports. Well, today, high school wrestlers all across Wisconsin took to the mat for the first step at making it to the state tournament in regionals. Now, we were lucky enough to have two area teams host the regional, and we've got some great highlights. Now, it would be impossible for me to show everyone, but let's take a look at some of the day's best action. Over to Holman High School for Division I semifinal matches. At 195 pounds, West Salem Bangor's Luke Knoll going to work avoiding the headlock and throwing Zach Shurfield to the mat to secure the takedown. And then only it only took 29 seconds for Noel to secure the pin. He'd win his finals match as well to finish in first. All right, up at 220, Ron White, he's going to lock in the cradle for Holman. And then it was only a matter of time before he rocked his opponent to bed. Getting the pin, White would finish in first and was only on the mat for a total of 1 minute and 22 seconds today. Very impressive. All right, back down to 170. West Salem Bangor's Andy Johnson trying to turn on Alaska's Brady Coon, and he gets it, and he gets the pin. Looks like he hurt his shoulder a bit, but he was fine as he went on to take first place as well. As far as team scores go, it was Holman with the most points with 293. West Salem Bangor right behind them at 240. All right, down to Division One, Aquinas High School, the host and the Blue Golds were putting on a show. Tate Flaggy with a lat drop, puts his opponent on his back, and then a few seconds later gets the pin. He take first at 152. And then his teammate David Moline, more of the same, running the half Nelson, gets the turn, and then just got to make sure those shoulders are flat. Gets the pin. Aquinas with nine first place finishers, they'd have the top team score. And how about Colin McKittrick? of Royal. He got sixth place at state last year trying to get back to Madison, gets the pin and takes first on the day. That puts him one step closer to state. Blair Taylor's Jackson Schrammick, 42 and 3 on the year. Here he is with the first period fall at 195. He'd go on to take first place for the Wildcats. And my favorite match of the day, New Lisbon's Dylan O'Brien down by five with less than a minute to go. Gets the throw onto the back. That's a five point move. We're going to overtime and in overtime O'Brien finds an extra gear. He'd get the takedown over Cochran Fountain City's Abraham Henderson and would finish in second on the day. All right, a bunch of our Division II teams were down in Richland Center. Prairie to Sheen had the top team score in Rhett Koenig on his quest for his fourth state title. He'd finish in first today. That's all I've got for now, but we'll be right back.